Hello, yung Pagos Param George. Welcome to a new episode on this series on setting up load balancer infrastructure. And today, I will be setting up all the necessary infrastructure resources to allow traffic to flow from the load balancer to an application that's running on an EC2 instance. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interest, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding! The setup that I showed you so far on this series for my load balancer involves redirecting to web application that is managed somewhere else. I also set up a mechanism for my load balancer to respond to web requests straight away without forwarding the requests. And this is how I implemented the default reject request to secure my load balancer. On today's episode, I will look into setting up my own web application and configure my load balancer to forward requests to this application. When it comes to managing applications from other services in AWS like ECS, EKS, or an EC2 instance, we have a number of load balancer related components or resources that we need to set up in order for the load balancer to forward web requests to these applications. I'm not going through the steps of setting up this web application per se. And so to simplify my setup, I am going to reuse what I already have. I have an EC2 instance that is running an Nginx on port 80. So if I'm going to show you this, let me switch to my browser. And then on my AWS web console, if I head to my EC2 services, and open instances. I have a single EC2 instance that's currently running and it's called EC2 reverse proxy. So I need to keep that in mind because this is what I will use to pull out a reference to this existing resource. So now let me switch back to my VS code. Because I want my load balancer to forward the request to the EC2 instance that I just showed you, I need to create a new resource called target group. So let me head to my main.tf and then all the way to the end of this file. I am going to add a new AWS resource called target group. This resource is sort of a container, and if configured properly, web requests are routed to this resource. And then this resource determines which actual service will process the web requests. And when I say service, this could be ECS, EKS, or in today's episode, my EC2 instance with the Nginx application. <clears throat> I will set a name property for this resource and call it my target group. I will also need to set the port property and set this to the port that my Nginx is listening from my EC2 instance, which is port 80. I will add a protocol property and set this to HTTP. I am using HTTP because I don't have SSL set up on my EC2 instance. You may ought to configure SSL to secure the communication between the load balancer and the server that runs your web application, but I'm setting up a very simple use case. You may then start to wonder whether this setup of using HTTP as protocol is not secure and makes my application vulnerable to attacks. Remember, when I set up my load balancer, I have attached a certificate to ensure that access to my load balancer is secured with DLS. So 
in terms of the perimeter that is facing the public internet, my load balancer protects my system by ensuring the access using HTTPS. Imagine this. One person from outside your house is trying to relay a secure message to you that he or she wants to pass along to someone else who's inside your house. So you may want to put some security measures to make sure that you receive the message securely and no one else can intercept. So you set up TLS on this communication. And then when you start relaying the message to the person who is inside the house, maybe you don't need to make the communication secure. That's probably a very bad analogy, but bottom line is setting up TLS for anything that interfaces with the public is a must. But setting up TLS on internal communication would be a case by case basis. And speaking of passing the message to the person who is inside the house, I need to add the VPC ID property in this resource. In a basic setup, in order for my load balancer and my target group and my EC2 instance to be able to talk to each other, they all need to be in the same boundary or the same house, which in this case is represented by the VPC ID. I have used the default VPC for all the resources that I have set up so far. And so for this VPC ID property, I will point this to the same default VPC. Now that I have a target group container, I can then start attaching resources. So I'm going to add a target group attachment resource. This resource needs a target group ARN property, which needs to point to the target group resource that I created previously. And I also need to add the target ID property. I need to point this property to the instance ID of my EC2 instance that we saw earlier. And so what I will do is head to my data.tf and in here I will add the data reference block that will pull my existing EC2 instance. And in order to pull the right instance, I need to add a filter block. And this filter block will have a name property and a values property that accepts a list. Because I'm trying to fetch the EC2 instance based off the tag field called name, I will set the name property accordingly. And then I will update the values property to contain the name of the EC2 instance that we saw earlier. And now that I have a data reference, I can then go back to my main.tf and update my target group property to point to the instance ID of my EC2 instance data reference. I can create as many target group attachments as I wish, provided that the EC2 instance is accepting requests on port 80, which is what I originally set up on my target group. And now that I have target group that contains an EC2 instance, what I need to do next is hook up my target group resource with my load balancer resource. 
And what I need is a new listener rule resource. We learned from last time that this resource needs a listener ARN property, which needs to point to the load balancer listener resource. And for this listener rule to work, I need to introduce an action block. In the previous episode, we saw the redirect and fix response action types. In order to forward the request to my new target group resource, I need to add the type property and set the value to forward, which means it will forward the web request. I want the web request to be forwarded to the target group resource that I created. And so I will add the target group ARN property and point this to the target group resource that I created earlier. And in order to evaluate web requests against this rule, I need to add the condition block. I will use the host header condition and I want all web requests that contain the domain nginx.publospot.ml to go through this rule. At the moment, this domain does not resolve to anywhere. And so I need to add a new Route 53 record resource to set this domain and point it to my load balancer. I already have an existing sample block that I can reuse for this. So let's head to that code block. And all I have to do is duplicate this block. And then change the arbitrary name of the resource. and then change the name property inside this resource. And all the code is complete. So let me head to my VS Code terminal. And start updating my infrastructure. So I'll start with the usual exporting of my TF workspace environment variable. And then initialize my AWS credentials using AWS Vault. And then run Terraform in it. And then run Terraform plan. and run Terraform apply. And now, if I switch to my web browser and access the new endpoint for the Nginx running on my EC2 instance, so that would be nginx.publospot.ml, and that works. And that's all I have for today. Stay tuned as I continue to explore ways of improving my implementation of my load balancer infrastructure. 
In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content on this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. See ya.